Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Dr. Princess Fumi Hancock. People know me as your Global Vision Midwife. Others call me your Life Rehab Ambassador. I call myself a trauma care uh, maestro. I'm a board certified uh, doctor of nurse practice in the area of psychiatry. Uh, and I own uh, clinics out here, the Pool of Bethesda Psychiatric Health in Arizona. So today I wanted to talk to you about depression. We all know that. So, I mean, if you were to look in your immediate family right now, I'm sure there's one person, at least one person that might be going through depression. And so because we start talking about vaccine and we're all trying to get to that point where we are a little bit relaxed since we've been cooked up in the house for a year. It is also equally important that we take care of our own mental health because this is yet another pandemic that is under another pandemic. And care must be taken so that we can address it immediately before it becomes a major issue in our environment. So what is depression? Depression, or others, others call it major depressive disorder, is a common and very serious illness. And what does it do? It negatively affects how you feel, the way you think, and how you act. Let me say that again. How you feel, the way you think, and how you act. So depression causes feelings of darkness and uh, sadness, you feel you are in darkness most of the time. You have a loss of interest in activities that you once enjoyed. I think I spoke about that in one of the uh, shows that I did earlier. It can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems and can decrease your ability to function at home and at work. So. Is it important then to treat depression? Is it important? Yes, it is. It is really important to treat depression. People who are severely depressed often experience physical pain proportional to their mental pain. The anxiety and the stress that often come with depression can lead to sore muscles, aching joints, and poor digestion, and of course, sleep disruption that can even more bring more discomfort to that person. Untreated depression will lead to suicidal thoughts. Let me let me let me say that again. Untreated depression will and can lead to suicidal thoughts. So here are common symptoms for depression. Feelings of sadness, fearfulness, emptiness, hopelessness, worthlessness. Sleep disturbances, including sleeping too much or not sleeping enough. Feelings of worthlessness or guilt. Reduced appetite and weight loss or increased craving for food and weight gain, anxiety, agitation, or restlessness, loss of interest or pleasure in most or in all activities is usually common amongst those who are suffering from depression. Frequent or recurrent thoughts of death, it might be to themselves or to other people, suicidal thoughts, suicidal attempts, and suicide. So treating of depression is an essential part of your health care. Even it is as important as checking your cholesterol on a daily basis or monitoring your weight. So if you are experiencing symptoms of depression, a very first step is to see your family physician or better yet, your psychiatric provider like myself. With proper diagnosis and treatment, the vast majority of people with depression can and will overcome it. 
So here's my question. Do you know someone? Do you know someone? Or someone that you love that is depressed today? Please don't hesitate to schedule an appointment. Make an appointment to see your psychiatry, psychiatry provider, which is often called your mental health professional, as soon as possible. So to talk to our health professionals, I want you to reach out to Pool of Bethesda Psychiatric Health, where I practice. There we'll be able to give you more information about your diagnosis, about the treatment, please visit our pages at pobpsychiatry.com or Dr. Fumi, F-U-M-I, psychdmp.com. Until next time, be inspired, be motivated, be of sentimental value. Understand that you are the hero in your life story. Do not allow anybody to rewrite your story. Until next time, it's bye for now.